When the radiating light of the mind shines forth, you recognize yourself in your timeless eternity. In the depths of your heart, there is no division between you and divine reality. Here, you are united with the Absolute. The experience of this unity is the revelation of that which you have always been, are now and will eternally be. The ultimate mystery of all being is experienced in the absoluteness of the self within ourselves as an I am, which we perceive in the depths of our own being. In the light of pure consciousness shines the divine being, the eternal I am. It is everything in all things, and whoever recognizes it experiences himself and the entire creation as this I am. The moment the conditioned limitation of the own mind falls, the narrow consciousness of your pseudo-individuality with its perceived external world of phenomena disappears and your heart opens to the boundless love of divine being. Nothing is important in the face of the presence of death. Death is absolute reality and can come at any time without warning. It is therefore a great tragedy to waste one's life in mindless routine and indifferent ignorance, caught in a myriad of trivialities. When you recognize that the reality of divine being is pure love, you experience yourself as one with all beings. Pure love in the form of being is the love of all embracing wholeness, which contains everything within itself. True meditation is a consciousness state in which you are the neutral witness. As the silent observer behind all experiences, you are just witness to what takes place. Your thoughts, drifting over the self-mind, are like passing clouds that appear and disappear. They are illusory and have no essence of their own. Your suffering comes from seeking for a higher state of being, fulfillment in life and inner peace in the external world of objects. As long as you are still convinced you can find something externally that can offer you a greater sense of being and permanent satisfaction, you remain dependent on external factors as a victim of your illusions. Meditation is not a question of doing, for your true being is meditation. Turn your mind around and behold your true self behind all thinking and feeling. The moment you recognize your true being, your mind will pervade the entire universe. Undistractedness is the noble path of all Buddhas of the past, present and future. Therefore, abide everywhere and at all times, no matter where you are and what you are doing in awareness of the immediate presence of your unchanging, true self. The Zen way to liberation does not tolerate any dependence on anything at all. Shatter all your limitations, liberate yourself from all your concepts and you will abide in the boundless freedom of the mind. Stop seeking happiness in external things and turn your mind inwards. Your true being is a boundless ocean of bliss. The radiating light of divine being is constantly present. It is covered only by the dark clouds of discriminating thought. All phenomena are a revelation of the one reality and pervade each other completely and harmonically, without any form of hindrance. As soon as the self-mind has been beheld, all discrimination ceases and you awaken from your dream of a three-dimensional external world of phenomena. The aim of all sublime mysticism is that by realizing spiritual clarity, you see through the empty nature of all phenomena and awaken to the reality of the one mind, which is beyond space and time. See things as they really are and recognize that everything is a revelation of the reality of the one mind. In every form of daily life, the fundamental and omnipresent reality of divine being manifests itself. You need only immerse yourself in it. 
simply make your mind free of everything, whatever it may be. Thus your mind will be unattached, even when it moves within the realm of life and death. By realizing a consciousness within us that is completely undivided and dwells on nothing, we achieve a clear perception of our true being. Reconnecting with this, our true essence, as our innermost core being and becoming one with it is the true goal of our human existence.